Hey, you. You're finally awake. Hi, and welcome to my channel. <laughs> If you're new here, my name is Cedric. I'm an actor, a filmmaker, a screenwriter, a YouTube reactor, and I normally don't drop my camera. But, you know, for everything there's a season. I have already done a reaction to Dimash's screaming music video and I absolutely loved it. But one thing that I noticed while I was watching it, while I was editing is, boy, he's doing his own backup vocals here. He's doing his own runs. And some of the harmonies were absolutely remarkable. Jaw-dropping vocal technique, jaw-dropping vocal skills, incredible range, the kind of thing you come to expect from him and yet are still floored by. But I wanna know how he does it live. And that's what a lot of people were saying. Hey, thanks for breaking this down. I want you to see it live because how? What's he gonna do? Is he gonna break off from the melody? Is he gonna go up? I also just really like this song. I like the song a lot. I really like the passion of it. I like the pop vibe. Uh, I think the whole thing is, is really, really great. So I wanted to see this live. Um, I had been told that this does get some strikes, so I did put the bars over it, um, and and hopefully that helps get through. You know, we'll we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, obviously, I'm I'm trying to do this out of uh, just an immense amount of respect for Dimash's talent, and so hopefully this gets to stay up. But hey, let's check this out live. This is Dimash screaming at Beijing 2021. This was like three weeks ago. So this is really, really exciting. Before we do that, though, I just want to say thank you really quickly to my patrons on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for uh, just helping me be able to do all that I do and focus on that and not be as worried. <laughs> I'm constantly worried. It's a real problem. But it helps me focus on what I'm trying to do and, and relieves a lot of that tension. So thank you so much. All right. Hey, let's jump in. This is Dimash screaming at Beijing 2021. Nice lights on stage. A lot more of a rock vibe to it. I feel trying to turn my heart in the stone. Wow, intense camera work already. Resistance to me, so I let you go. Ooh, nice. But the love First, the most important thing to talk about are his pants. I love them. I love everything about them. I will never wear them. I could never wear them. But he can, and he should, and they are fantastic. The music video is very evocative in its use of colors. It's heavily saturated. There's a lot of burnt orange, red, blue, yellow. There's a lot of colors happening in it. The unique thing about this is there's like a, there's like a rainbow behind him. And the, the lights, the blue beams that are shooting down and shooting across, there was like a rainbow beam around his head too on that opening shot where the camera whipped around him really quickly. That's a fascinating way to tie that in. And, and again, he's surprising me because that's not a style that we've seen from him. This feels a little bit more like a pop concert. I also love the performance choice to jump and land on the, I'm screaming, ah, like I love the choice to jump up and land on that. It emphasizes the the idea of I'm screaming. It helps, you know, reinforce that. So again, just great choices from him. I didn't even notice these background dancers come in. Love that. I just, I love the whole thing so far. Intense camera work. A lot of cameras moving. Lots of the quick zoom in, everything like that. But I like it. It's, you know, the song takes place in his head too. There's a lot of internal stuff to it. So I like the quick zoom into him. I like the focus on him on it. He changes so fast. That wasn't 
wasn't in the music video, was it? I don't remember that. I love that choice. So again, it's pop feel, but then adding that. If we're talking about what's happening internally, that's almost him like calming down. There's, there's a sense of anxiety to this song. There's a really nice depiction of anxiety happening with, especially with that added, you know, vibrato that's happening there in the falsetto, the dancers kind of rippling up with him as he goes around, and then he pulls it back down. I made mistakes and I hurt you in a lot of ways. So he pulls it back and we're back into this pop voice. There's, there's an external and an internal performance, and it's really nice to see. It's really well done. Also, he's adding things. There's little breaths, there's little you know, fall offs at the end of notes and things like that, that make live performances special. And that's how you know he's singing it live. Cause I think there is a temptation as a viewer, when you listen to Dimash, to think that he's lip syncing. And the only reason I say that before you get offended, before I get back comments about it, the only reason I say that is because so much of what he does shouldn't be possible. Like it, it doesn't feel like it could be real, right? But it is. And so the only option is to assume that he's doing that. And the only real uh, way to prove that is to hear those things <laughs> because so much of it sounds so perfect that it's hard to believe that it's actually happening. But it is, it is. And he's just so special. Nice openness. Boy, that control, so light. Mm. Such a group, some seed is your let of speechless as empty part of me. Such a great line. But the living that you from me is not for the world to see. I'm screaming. Oh! oh. Okay, now back to that, yeah. Why can't you feel? See how they're pulling in the blue and the pink now? The smoke when it first came up on that wide shot was pink. Now they're starting to show some of that. There, there's a little bit of the green too that we saw in the water scenes in the music video. So there is an acknowledgement of that color palette happening. Great performance. I don't know if people are live singing the backing vocals or if that's a track that he's singing with. Both are fine. There's not an issue with either one. But uh, I was really surprised when he went up there at the beginning of the chorus. I thought that was beautiful. What a brilliant choice. And then it goes back down. Often you'd see that reversed. You'd see it go down and then up. I like this choice. Again, it's we're talking about someone that, oh, I'm screaming, ah, and then the second one, oh, I'm down, okay. And now I'm back in control. There's a lot of intention behind this. Why can't you feel me? I'm screaming inside. Man is absurd. I mean, it's absurd. It's absurd. It's not real. It's just the piping that he does. The da, 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 da. Like obviously, I'm not trying to go full operatic on that, but the way that he does it. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that open, at that clean of a tone, that pure of a sound is ridiculous. And I, it's just, it's unbelievable to hear. Unbelievable. And I absolutely love how different that was than the music video. It's like a different song. You know, it's, it's, he just, he kind of remakes it. And it's like he's discovering new things, new truths for himself, new, 
new aspects of the song or subtext that he wants to pull out for a particular performance, whether that's because of his costume or the stage or the audience that he's performing for, whatever it is, there's something new that he wants to pull in. The staging was great. They had like that wormhole type thing happening behind him. It was always interesting. There was a sense of traveling. There was a sense of time to the staging, to the, to the background that he had. And this whole thing is about time, living in your memory, regrets, mistake, being in your head, thinking about the future. You know, I want to apologize. I've made mistakes. It's not about the present. It's about the past and the future. And so I thought that was really, really cleverly done on the stage work side of it. But his performance is just as always stunning. He's wild, wild. Uh, I think the next Dimash video is probably gonna be Ave Maria. Again, I have seen it. I watched it back in August on my own time, but I am gonna do a breakdown and analysis of it as a reaction because that has been highly, highly requested. So I also don't remember a lot of it because I was, I had just filmed a really tough scene in a movie that I was shooting and I just needed some like emotional uh, support and Dimash. <laughs> someone like tweeted it at me and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it. Cause I was like, I was, I was sad. I wasn't sad. I was just, I was emotionally worn out from a scene I had shot and so I needed it and it was there when I needed it. And so I watched it, but I don't remember a lot of it. So, hey, I'm gonna rewatch it. But until then, please drink lots of water. Please take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Be well.